hello guys welcome back to appsheet tutorial so today we're going to see about a quiz app so how to make a quiz app in appsheet so for this we'll create a new app start with your own data we'll make this quiz app and education so first of all we have to create one database uh, which we are going to do in the spreadsheet so i will create one new spreadsheet for this quiz app so for this demo we are going to create a three questions and with uh, multiple choice options in that one of the option will get selected and final result we are going to show it so here we will create a new folder called quiz app We'll create a new sheet. Oops. Oops. Uh, database. Oh. So in this, uh, the sheet name will give it this. We need to give a unique ID. So, and question one. After that, so in, this is the option one. And question two. Question three. So I am going to create the three questions and then result or else marks. Okay, I'm going to show about the marks here. Then just choose our data. Basically, we are going to use the enum data type to show the options of this business. Okay. With the form. Here, go to, let's go to the UX and quiz already imported. With this data, we have to modify the columns. So, this unique ID, the initial value should be unique ID. This automatically generated, it's fine. And we'll remove this show because we don't need to show this unique ID. And in the question one, so this is the option column. Okay, so here we need to show uh, this should be the enum type. Okay, and uh, actually, this column name should be question one options. Then it makes sense. Two options and question three options. Now we'll regenerate. So yeah. So this I'm going to switch to enum type. And here we are going to add four options. Okay. Before that, we have to create the question. Then we can give the options. Okay, so for that, I'm going to add a virtual column called uh, question one. And the app formula will be say some question like uh, okay, which uh, app is inspired by Google? Okay. So, this is a question, and for this question, one we are going to create the options in that enum list. So, this will be the text type, yeah, that's correct, and then. Okay, so question one options. I'm going to give the options like uh, let's say 2019, 2018, 
actually this for this answer is 2020 so last year google acquired this app sheet so for finding the result correct or wrong answer we have to create another for now so that we'll do in the later part so in this base type will be the text and this should be the buttons okay it's done same like this we are going to create a oops sorry for question two one three question two that will be so let's say okay sheet uses pitch coding let's save this text done for this going to create a enum list of four options let's see c plus plus create another question called question 3 let's see uh, what all the database can be connected to data source option for this now yeah, so database spreadsheet and what other Answer for this is all the above. We will see how to validate the answer. Okay. First, we have created this questions. I'm saving this. So now we'll define a view for this. Okay. In the UX, how are we going to arrange these questions and answer? So in this deck type, oh yeah, this is deck type. So here the form we are showing here. Closing. This is uh, actually unformatted. So what we are going to do is, so in this, in the bottom view, again clicking this view, it will go to the quiz form below. Okay. So this is a quiz form view. In this column order is there, right? So here we're going to order the columns. So, this, this. so for the question one, with the options, question two options, question three, this, and we'll delete this number. Okay. So now, oh, actually this is getting hidden. So for this, what we can do is, okay. And go to this table in columns we can do this as a show type so we'll just copy this show type okay and saving this and, uh, and same like this for other Uh, and the show type uh, will make the UI looks better. So in, in instead of text column, if we use show type, it will give the bold one. See the color difference you can see here. So for the see this is the normal one. It's like a blurred one. And uh, see if you use show type, it will look rich in UI. Okay. Let's 
Save this and let's look this away. So see now the UI looks good, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so now I'm going to select any of these options, but we need to validate which one is the correct and wrong one, and we are going to show the marks. Okay. So for that, what we can do is uh, here we are going to create another virtual column another three virtual columns which we are going to validate with these options okay so let's create another virtual column q1 okay for this formula what we are going to use is so q1 option if if q1 option equal to whatever the option for the first one answer is uh, 2020 20, right so if the option is 2020 then we are going to show correct or else incorrect so the selected option is 2020 means it's correct Google is acquired app sheet at 2020 or else uh, we are going to show in color I'm saving this and same like this we are going to do q2 and q3 okay and virtual column q2 same. Just copy paste and that one for this. What is the question? Is the no code? Is the no code means correct or incorrect? Okay. Same like the Q3 answer. Virtual column. Q3 answer. So for the Third one the question is um, all the above. Okay. And then yeah. So now we are going to arrange this Q1, Q2, Q2. Okay. And, and, and. Q1 should come under the Q1 options and the other respective Q2, Q3 should come under below Q1 and Q2. Okay, now, hmm. so actually, this I'm saving this. Actually, incorrect, we have to hide it. So, until the Q1 option is selected, then only we have to show. Uh, the correct or incorrect for that what we can do is uh, we'll go to the column and we can use the show if constraint okay. so initially i haven't selected anything so it's showing incorrect that doesn't make sense so we'll go to the q1 options oh, sorry and q1 answer uh, using the show if constraint we can say only if q1 is not black we have to show q is not black okay means if i select any one q1 option then only we have to show so same like this for q2 and q3 is not blank which means if q2 is selected then only we have to show this answer okay. and uh, q3 the same so, 
Now the answer column is not shown. Once I select, it will show. Let's see, I'm selecting 2020. It's showing current. The same like this. No code and all the above. Oops. There is some issue in the Q3 answer. I'm selecting the correct answer. It's showing in current. Okay, let's check this. Okay. All the above. Okay, yeah. So I did the wrong one. So Q3 options I'm doing. Now we calculate the marks based on the correct and incorrect. So for that, what we have going to do is I'm going to use a formula for the which are all correct and incorrect okay so for this again it's a number type marks is a number and then formula what we have to going to do is we are going to use the select statement so select so in this place We are going to count the correct answers so for that what we have to do is uh, we can list okay. we can check the q1 answer q2 answer should be correct so and then we have to take the count in that and maybe we can do list of Sorry, I made a mistake in this actually. Yeah. So in the next part, I will actually I was confused in this marks part. So I will do the video in the next part. So how we can calculate marks based on the correct answer. Okay. So so far we have select created a quiz with the three options. So like this, you can make a mini quiz options and you can show the correct and incorrect. Actually, we have to show the correct count, which is the correct answer, but I'm I'm not sure how to do in the list part. I will do in the next video for this. Sorry guys. And thanks for watching. If you have any doubt, just put a comment below. And if you like, uh, share, subscribe. Thank you.